Hello, my name is Hamid. Um, today I will show you how to test the thermal cap on your gas range, uh, gas ranges or um, water heater. I got this thermal cap on. Um, I got this one. One is short, one is long. Um, the long one is for big uh, on the gas range and the short one is for the big because um, big would be on top, broil would be on bottom so that's why they make it uh, a little bit different from each other they come in uh, different sizes different shapes uh, but I got this one from a gas range today I will show you how to test it you need to have a multimeter mm, uh, a lighter or a candle or whatever heat and two alligator clips uh, you also uh, you also can use your uh, normal uh, probes from your multimeters and then you can do the job with that uh, you need to select the uh, DC voltage on your multimeter and you should, uh, when I'm testing it, I should get um, at least more than 6 milli uh, volts DC uh, when I'm uh, using this uh, lighter uh, trick on this thermal capital. Uh, so right now it's selected on DC, uh, DC and I will show you how to and test this. Okay. Okay, so uh, right now I'm just going to check how it works. Here's my multimeter again. I'm selecting DC voltage on this. And here's my lighter. And here's the thermal couple. Again, uh, thermal couple comes in different uh, sizes and shapes and they use it in all kinds of different appliances. Uh, so today I have the one from gas range. What you want to do is you got two probes put one of your probe on the silver side of the thermocouple that side usually goes uh, into the gas valve and another side on the ground or the thermocouple's wire is also uh, we can accept it as a ground and you just use a lighter So I'm gonna light up the candle to show you the multimeter when it works. Okay, the candle is uh, lit. Okay, actually, I should put the, this black one which is the common on the ground and this positive one to to the top of the thermocouple and you also already can see I got a, about 15 14 or 13 whatever I at least I'm getting uh, more than 6, uh, six millivolts which it shows this thermocouple is good so this one was used on the bake, it's good and I will use the broil one, the, the big thermocouple which is this one. Again you use your uh, alligator clip on the silver side of the thermocouple or at the base of it and the, another one on the ground or on itself and then just use your lighter or candle to light it up and then you can check the voltage I don't have any voltage over there see I'm getting different different nothing if you get less than uh, six millivolts 
then it means your thermocouple is uh, bad, it's not working anymore. Sometimes you can see corrosion build up on thermocouple somewhere and then you just realize it's not working or sometimes you can find a, a breakage on it. Uh, the breakage would be some uh, 